My name is Meredith Miller. I'm a lecturer here at Taubman College teaching architectural design, and I'll be moderating the penultimate session, which is on the topic of environments. And I have to say it's quite humbling to be among such an incredible set of scholars and designers. Um, and I want to echo other sentiments about the uh, astounding or organizational skills of our staff. And I also want to thank Monica for initiating the series and for John for helping to shape um, the intellectual content of this panel. Um, I think what, between the staff and the faculty, we can do amazing things here at this university. It's very clear. And I look forward to the next um, instantiation of this, of this series now that the future of is being concluded. And I also want to thank Amy Culper for conversation and Caroline Constant for access to her amazing library. So far this weekend, matters of temporality have appropriate, appropriately been a recurring theme. The depth of history was weighed against the synchronicity of research. Pre- and postmodern categories were challenged, while temporal gaps were filled. Timelines looped backwards instead of moving forward. And a very interesting statement that I'm not sure if it was a provocation or a resignation, and Amy picked up on this as well this morning, was Yarzenbeck's proposal that what historians do is presentism. A critical discussion of history's temporalities necessarily includes an environmental perspective. Whether we see this as a symptom of the anxiety of presentism emanating from a contemporary attention to ecology, or whether we extend its disciplinary relevance into a deeper historical time frame. This panel brings together an exciting range of historians and practitioners to consider the ways in which an environmental turn in architecture has reoriented its histories as a reflection on the discipline, and perhaps altered its agencies as a projection for architecture, urbanism, and other design practices. I'm very happy to introduce the five speakers in this session. Vandana Boeja, coming from the University of Florida, Nicholas de Mancho from Berkeley's College of Environmental Design, Edward Eigen, coming from Princeton University School of Architecture, Ellen Grimes from the School of, School of the Art Institute in Chicago, and Jeanette Kim, who's the director of the Urban Landscape Lab at Columbia University. Following their presentations, we will convene for a discussion around the topic, History of Environmental Consciousness which I think offers the environment as a model for and not just the object of inquiry. Thank you. <laughs> 